mit der Pressekonferenz nach unserem Seasons Opener Frankfurt Galaxy gegen Düsseldorf Rheinfire in Stand 20 zu 38. Ähm, von unserer Leute, Michael Castle. Von den Gästen, die Glenn Tonga, Sebastian von Sanden. Wenn ich es eben noch richtig mitgespielt bekomme, war ein Spieler des Spiels. Genau. Ge gewählt worden. Ja. Und Jonathan Söder, Head Coach der Gäste. Coach, first statement. Was? Kannst du das machen, bitte? Mein first. Oh, mach ich mal. Oh, ich setze ihn. Mach ich schon. Ich gebe ihn. Der King aus einer um, first, I want to, I want to, um, I think I've said it enough, but, but I got to reiterate the amount of respect I have for Coach Petty, um, the way he runs a program, the way he runs a team, uh, not only the players that he attracts and, and the way they love playing for him. And I found that out through going through this league for two years, uh, and the loyalty that his players feel towards him. Um, and then, uh, you know, then, then, he, then he, his, his coaching staff, you know, and now hiring Coach Frank, and uh, the amount of respect I have for him, um, he's obviously a fabulous football coach. And, uh, you know, you got one on defense, one on offense, and then the rest of the assistants from the special teams, uh, just the way this organization is put together from him and his staff and his players, uh, I just have a tremendous amount of respect. And, and um, you know, we play in these games, and they are, they are absolute battles. <coughs> They're battles. And they are, <coughs> I mean, it, it is. It is. If you could be on that field, and I think Coach will agree, I mean, the, the contact that's happening on that field, and to hear it, like you don't even have to see it, to hear it. The way they're playing and the passion that all these players played with. So I just want to just say how much respect I have for them. Uh, and, and also, I was proud of our team and, and everybody that played in the football game and how hard they, they fight and go. And I think it's unbelievable for football. I think the Frankfurt Galaxy and the running flyer, I think it's a, it's a wonderful game to be played. And uh, I think the fans get along great. I think it's a great example for every sport in the world to see two really competitive teams go compete on the field and cheer and everything, their hearts out, and then at the end of the day, sit and have a beer together. You know, I just think it's just, it's just an unbelievable, uh, unbelievable thing. I think we're all witnessing something that's extremely special. I know that was long, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, you've done, Coach. <laughs> hey, Thanks, Coach. Thomas, dein Statement zum Spiel. Yeah, congrats to Rheinfire, to Coach Tom Zula and the, and the team. Um, yeah, a good win, a good win for them. I mean, we had a battle. Um, definitely disappointed. I mean, we wanted to win here. That's that's our approach. We win every game. We don't need to hide for any team. Even we know that Rheinfire is Rheinfire and champion for a reason. This is like Coach said, a battle on every play. This is what we're telling the players. Every play counts. Every play counts. You cannot even waste a, a thought about the next, the last play because. Everything can happen, right? And I think we showed it. So we're disappointed in the loss, obviously. Um, happy that we saw a good football game. That was my second goal. That uh, is our first. This is our first game in the season, and everybody knows who played it. This is not always easy. You have these mistakes. You have these miscommunications, especially with the new offense running. But this was a good football game for everyone, and th this is what makes me proud. But now we started from zero zero. We need to get our stuff together. We need to get better, obviously. But we're getting closer. This is a good thing, but in my opinion, two to three plays, like always in these games, was a little bit the the, the, the cherry on the cake. We we stopped them, and then they had a great call on a on a bad snap, so they converted the punt for the first down. That was a big one. Yeah, I think we had a chance in the in the second half to to get to the lead with the missed field goal, and this was a thing we need to do. These are the things you come in, you are on their head every time. They don't, can you push away, but then you need to get over the hump. But if we get in the lead, it's a totally different momentum that switch. And we, right now, we're not good enough to make that leap over the hump and get that lead with 23-21. Then, of course, I think Rheinfire converted the fourth and sixth at one point in the fourth quarter. We missed the fourth and sixth on the other side. These are the little differences in the game. So, again, well, respect, it's always a battle. 
but um, yeah, what I thought. Tough was too. Da hast du den, den vierten Versuch von Sebastian angesprochen. Ich habe dich eben schon mal gefragt, ob das irgendwie gescriptet war oder ob das wirklich einfach nur den, den, den Ball am Boden und nicht kontrollieren konntest. Aber du hast gesagt, es war wirklich, beschreib mir mal die Situation, du hast auf einmal dann viel Wiese vor dir gehabt. Das war die in meinem Kopf spontan beste Lösung. Ich muss glaube ich mal. Ähm, also geübt, geübt aber es ging schon ein paar Mal. Ähm, war aber in diesem Spiel so nicht gekollt. Das ist ja so nicht geplant gewesen. Aber ja, äh, aus schlechten Situationen dann das, das Beste machen. Und das das versucht eigentlich jeder der Jungs. Es klappt nicht immer alles perfekt, so wie man es sich vorgenommen hat. Ähm, genau, dem, in dem Spiel hat es perfekt geklappt und äh, die Jungs konnten zum Beispiel den, den Spiel auch zu oder den, den Drive zum Touchdown erfolgen. Okay, what do you think about the game today? Um, I'm just glad I didn't get my health food. Um, <laughs> no, I'm playing. Um, I think uh, obviously going to it now is great, but um, it's just amazing to have the trust of the guys. I think like in tough games like that, in close games like that, obviously you want to win, but it's, it's not about you. It's about, you know, the guys that, that drive two hours. It's about the guys that sacrifice. It's the guys that, that put their bodies on, bodies on the line. And, and I think the, the best thing for us as, as a team is You know, we won, but it, it brought us close to the team. You know, I can, I can genuinely help these guys. Um, and so I'm just glad that we won and then I could do my best for them. You know, I love these guys. And uh, we're going to celebrate for 24 hours, but, you know, it's, it's back to focus and, and focus again and focus again and, and get ready for the next week. So, yeah. Markel, what was your first home game? Yeah, and the, in the purple hell and the purple family, what do you think about the, the atmosphere here? Oh, the atmosphere is amazing, man. The fans are amazing. Ever since I stepped uh, in foot in Frankfurt, I automatically got tickets to a soccer game, too, so that was good. So I almost opened the arms when I came to Frankfurt. Um, big transition coming from Munich, you know, being at, to a program that just started and then transferring to a, a, a franchise that's, you know, been successful in the past from the GFL up to the ELF. But it's been an amazing experience. I'm still soaking it in, and I'm just excited to be here. And I love the guys. We connect right off the jump. Uh, coaching staff, you know, if I need anything to help me, you know, uh, not only physically but mentally too. So um, I'm just excited to be here, man. And got my first game in Purple Hell, so I'm excited for what the season can bring. Du mal dann nochmal fragen, was, warum ist es so schwer, den Tonger irgendwie zu stoppen? Every run play is a potential touchdown. That's what it is. You need to hit your gaps, you need to hit your assignment, and then they have a great O-line. So it's really what we said. It's a battle on all the little things. He's so patient, staying square to the line to wait when the cutback lane hits and stuff like that. And that makes him special. And he's running hard. So it's it's really every every tackle you make on him, I tell the defense, every tackle we do is a win. And then we go on. Then you need to hope to make some tackles for loss or for one yard that you are in a drive. If he makes the eight yard run, okay, let's go and go and go and, and hopefully tire him out. But it's a it's a very explosive runner. And um, it's tough to stop him with all the scheme they do and with the, the pulling guards, with the overloading sides and stuff. So Eure Fragen. Uh, Glenn, um, you're relying very heavily on the run. I mean, see with us some injuries and all that, but relying heavily on the run. So do you feel like you have to you have to carry the team a little bit as a running back? I'm gonna just do my job. You know, whether it's a pass play, whether I have to, to run block. You know, I did feel at one point that you know we're gonna have to run the ball and and I appreciate the trust from Coach Andrews from the whole line and You know, just just do what I can to help the team, and whether we run or we pass, to me it's just you know do my job, focus on the play, that you know do the best I can for the guys, and and you know that helps us win. So I just appreciate that. Thomas Frankus jetzt heute quasi dann so die genau die die Fehler, die man so früh in der Saison irgendwie erwarten kann, oder bist du insgesamt vielleicht auch Genau, es ist nicht so gelaufen, wie du dir das insgesamt gewünscht hast, auch für so ein herzliches Spiel. Kannst du mal so ein bisschen erläutern, äh, genau. Weil du warst ja schon auch sehr, du warst ja schon sehr positiv. Äh. Ich bin immer noch positiv, aber <lacht> ähm, das war für das erste Spiel sehr gut. Und wir haben uns drei gehabt. Das Ziel zu gewinnen haben wir nicht erreicht. Das, das, das bleibt hinterm Strich. 
Aber das Entscheidende ist, die Spiele gegen Ryan Frey sind alle on the edge. Alle on the edge. Und diese kleinen Dinge sind halt dann Fehler zu viel. Diese, diese Punkte, die wir nicht machen. Wir haben vorhin vom Momentum Swing von 10 Punkten gesprochen. Die sind zu viel in so einem Spiel. Das, das hat man auf absolutem Top-Niveau. Und daran müssen wir arbeiten, dass wir irgendwann in der Lage sind, diese Plays zu machen. Ich glaube, wir sind wieder näher rangekommen. Ja? Und jetzt geht es den nächsten Step zu machen. Wir werden uns entwickeln. Aber für ein erstes Spiel bin ich spielerisch sehr, sehr zufrieden. Wenn man vergleichen wird, das mit dem ersten Spiel, was wir letztes Jahr in Rhinefire hatten, wo wir keine Chance hatten. Ich glaube, das sah halt anders aus. Aber wir haben immer noch einen enormen Weg zu gehen und wir dürfen uns jetzt auch nicht nur auf die Schulter klopfen. Wir haben ein schönes Spiel gemacht. Das war ein Aber diese, diese kleinen Situationen, die ich beschrieben habe, sind dann, wie gesagt, diese Swings, wo wir einfach abgeklärt und besser werden müssen und daran müssen wir arbeiten. Anschließend dazu, neue Quarterback, erste Impressionen, erstes Spiel. Ich habe nicht viel gesehen, ich bin viel mit der Defense beschäftigt, aber ich glaube, er hat seinen Job sehr gut gemacht mit Markel. Ich glaube, das Ziel, dass wir explosiver sind im Angriff, dass wir Ryan Fire matchen können, man muss mehr dranbleiben und das haben wir gezeigt. Ich glaube, Coach Rosa hat heute schon gezeigt, was, wie flexibel man mit einer Offense sein kann, wie explosiv man sein kann. Das war ja unser, unser Ziel von Anfang an, als wir diese Wechsel gemacht haben. Und von daher glaube ich, war das ein sehr guter erster Einstand. Auch dann wieder sind natürlich auch Fehler passiert, die hier in diesem Spiel nicht passieren dürfen. Turnover Battle und sowas. Aber nichtsdestotrotz können wir darauf aufbauen, was wir immer machen werden. Wir sind heute nicht das Team, was wir am Ende der Saison sein werden, sondern das erste ist da. Äh, Jim, I gotta ask about your receivers. I mean, uh, Hanan was at the end a little big now. Yeah. And uh, McMahon didn't play so. <laughs> Then you didn't play anyway, I guess. So uh, uh, can you go out there? Yeah, we've got a couple of dings there, and um, you know, this early in the season, I didn't want to. I don't think it's anything earth-shattering. You know, obviously we'll know a lot more tomorrow, but um, I don't think it's anything real serious. But uh, um, you know, they get some tweaks, and you know, I mean, we're we're, we're game two, you know, and and uh, we've got to be able to, you know, football is a game of attrition. You know, you you got you got to keep playing. You got to keep going. You got to keep, you know, you got to make it through a season. You know, and um, there were a couple of times during that game that I thought about putting them back in. Uh, you know, but shame on me. You know, but uh, uh, we need to take care of their health. You know, and, and so uh, I was a little more conservative uh, in, in that aspect. Um, so. That's what we are. I, I don't think anything's real bad. Uh, probably the one I'm worried about the most is, is winter uh, 19. Okay. You know, his foot is foot sore. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that. <laughs> we just got to make sure we, we take a look at that. Uh, but but other than that, I, I don't think it's anything that, you know, real bad. So that's why I put Tony Edwards with the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They threw, threw Tony in there on one, told him to get going. And, See what the hell happens, right? So, I mean, obviously, you can tell he did Brexit a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Way to tell him where to line up. Uh, but, uh, but at that point right there, we, you know, we wanted some speed on that side of the field. And, you know, Tony is, uh, is a European, so we can, we can use him. You know, we couldn't put another American in there. So uh, we, we, we threw Tony in there. Um, man, he's just a, you know, just a, Tony's a good guy, good athlete, you know. Um, so that was what we did there. Uh, my question is, um, what is the gap or what have we, as now I see uh, you now for three years, it's my third game, I, I, I looked at you and we have no, really no chance to, to hold him, he's fantastic. Um, what is the gap to oh, play in the, in, the, in, the, in the NFL? What do you think as a coach? The gap between yeah, Glenn and yeah. the players in the NFL? Yeah, for him to play, or what does he have to do? Um, what does he need more um, to, to play in the NFL? Okay, I'm probably going to answer this in a way that, that you don't what you won't like. Okay? Um, the, to me, the biggest problem, I think Coach K would agree with this, Biggest problem with a lot of the guys we get over here right now is, I mean, he's too old. They won't give him it because of the, because, well, I mean, he's not old. But, but, but you see what I mean? He's not old. 
Okay, these guys are old. That we got the same product down there. Okay, gas was the same way. I, they're not old. I would have turned around. Oh, yeah. 29. 29. Oh, <laughs> Come on in. Come on. Come on. Please. Let's see. Um, but, but what ends up happening with the NFL people is is the uh, uh, they get past 25 years old and and they're looking for the 22 and 23 year olds. You know what I mean? So so we're just getting a chance right now. These guys are actually. They're going to end up, if you ever watch, does anybody here ever watch NFL films? The old ones? Yes. So if you watch the old ones. <laughs> so if you watch the old NFL films, right? Now, remember, the 50s and 60s, the players had jobs during the day. They worked jobs, like, like a lot of these guys, right? So they worked jobs, and then they practiced at night, and then they played football games, in the, and they were the ones that built that thing. And see, these guys, to me, and Coach K, like, like, I'm American. He's German. Our lifestyle to get to this point right here, I shouldn't even be at the same table with him. I had it way easier than that man. Everywhere I went was a football and a helmet and a shoulder pad. When he was playing, he had to buy his own helmet. I never bought a helmet. That's my respect I have for this thing. These, these guys here, all these guys here, they, 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 they buy their own equipment, I mean, the sacrifices they make. So so it's just the point of they're older. It, it, it's really not the talent level. Now, if he's 20, doing what he's doing right now, things change. And that's what happens. I mean, look, look, you've got the same issue, okay? That's what happens. Um, I tell you, we did two pounds today. Um, if we play like this, is called. Get, are you getting like a little excited that you can throw a pass or something? Or is yeah, this is easier for you. <laughs> <laughs> I used to play the other guy in school until I stopped. That's when I made the transition to receiving. But uh, yeah, that's what I mean. I try to be a playmaker everywhere I go. Um, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. I try to be a playmaker everywhere I go. Um, it's just no secret why Frankfurt uh, brought me here is to make plays and. If I can put my team in a position to win and be throwing the ball, running the ball, catching the ball, whatever, then I'm going to do it. Weitere Fragen? Ja, eine Frage. Es wurde jetzt gesagt, dass das Spiel in Offenbach nochmal nächstes Jahr stattfindet, also nochmal zwei Termine. Ist es wahr? Keine Ahnung. Ich glaube, ich glaub, das ist vorne die falsche. Kann ich wieder okay. bestätigen, glaube ich, so machen. Ich kann nur sagen, es war ein sehr, sehr schönes Football-Event. Ich glaube, das Footballstadion bietet sehr gut zum, zum Football-Spiel. Mhm. Nochmal, ich, ich liebe unsere PSD-Bank Arena, mhm. aber das war schon, glaube ich, hat sich gelohnt, diesen Schritt mal zu machen. Es war eine great Atmosphäre. Okay. Katja, du hast es eben. Ja, vielleicht nochmal Tipp voraus, Thomas, vom nächsten Spiel. <lacht> Yeah, at Paris, I think they won. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Paris is one of the top teams now, I guess. They they learned from last year a lot of experience playing against us. That always makes the team better. They got some good signings. We know Anthony, we know Kevin Wamba, and they have so much talent in, in, in French, which is unreal. So this will be another tough test. Like I said, if we now say no, there was a great game against Frankfurt, we will get our, our ass kicked there. So we want to be ready. 0-0 zero, zero next week. We can mm. come back and play a good football game. And hopefully I'm away from but it's, it's will ne never get easy. I have a mic, I can live. I have a mic, I can live. 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 I can uh, but still, it's a rivalry, as we know, and it's the well, hardest game in the in the league, as as far as I can uh, judge it. Ryan against Galaxy. So, could you both of you give us some insights? How did you prepare for this rivalry? Still, it is, as I said, the hardest game uh, for for this league. And if you are free to tell some preparation stuff that you do different or especially for this game. Uh, because of the hardest game and the, and the right. 
Yes. Coach, I'll let you go. <laughs> um, it really feels like a great divisional rivalry. If you want to make the comparison to the NFL, I think that's where we're at right now. This is a great sport rivalry. I mean, right now, Ryan Fire is winning it. But the, the good thing is about when you are in a division, you play a lot of times against each other. And when, you, when you're a good team, you have consistency. And then you have the same coaches, you have the same players, you have good programs. So I have to say it's a lot, but it's getting a little easier every time we're facing because you know the players better, you know the scheme. And it's not like, I mean, this year we had the advantage, a new offense scheme, and they didn't know a lot about it. But I'm pretty sure they knew a lot about our defense. We knew a lot about our offense. So the X and O's are clearer. Then it's the thing what they have prepared for us, what they're throwing at us, and of course the execution on the field. In this game, it's about the execution on the field. Can you make the tackle on him? Can you break the tackle and run for a touchdown? This is the thing. So this this is what makes this <coughs> game so great. From more you're playing against each other, it's getting a little bit easier. I know last year when we saw the motions the first time, we were like, this is too fast and we had to get used to it. You can see it in the third game. I think we were ready to fight that. Now I think we we can settle on that. So, But that's really great because it's really good for football. Yeah, I mean, I agree with Coach right there with what he said. You know, I mean, the, I guess the biggest thing that, that we try to do is to stay focused on ourselves. You know, much as I think what coach just said, you know, you, you got, you got, you got the other team, you know, but you get too wound up in, in, in those things or reading the, 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 you know, I don't, I'm not on social media. I don't have any idea what anybody's saying, um, you know, um, but, but the, uh, uh, just trying to stay on track with your guys paying attention to what they have to do, you know, like worry about yourself. Uh, and that's very hard when you're playing Franklin, you know, because there is there is a lot of hype, which is great. You want it. It makes it exciting. But at the end of the day, trying to stay in, in tune with, hey, our execution, the things he keeps talking about, the execution on the field, you know, paying attention to that, you know. I mean, we can come out, we can come out and play Frankfurt and be all fired up, you know. And look, I told the guys, oh, I'm not going to lie to you. I got off the bus today. I said, I don't know why, but man, every time I come down here, I get in a bad mood. You know, it's like, damn. <laughs> and it's not him. I, I, I really, you know, I've had a couple of beers with Coach K. I mean, I really, you know, he didn't drink, but I did. Um, but, but uh, um, you know, it's just, uh, it's kind of trying to keep that focus level right. While you're going into the but still you're looking at some footages, don't you? Some videos and, and then you yeah schemes speech that they have and yeah stuff. well well yes uh, yes and no I'll, I'll say that honestly I mean uh, I went back and spent some time looking at Coach Frank's stuff when he was when he was back in uh, in Cologne a few years back you know and I had a great amount of respect for him uh, actually I will say I tried to get him to join our staff back then you know um and uh uh you know what he's doing there but he's obviously he's put he's he's added to it i mean he's a he's a, he's he's an extremely smart offensive coach you know and uh, uh that was one thing that grabbed me today was watching the offense and the defense for frank for guys that work together that was kind of cool you know that was like man you know you could tell these two guys are these two guys, are, I mean, he's the head guy, so what he says goes, but, you know, it, it was like you could tell. He, he was trusting his guy, and so, you know, we didn't have a lot of film to watch, you know. Now we do watch the hell out of his defense, mm. you know. I mean, uh, uh, and, and you're still trying to predict because he says these things, but, you know, you watch the, you watch the games, and he ain't playing the same thing every game either, okay, you know. I mean, he's... <laughs> <coughs> he's he's pumping his pieces, you know. So that chess part of it is is something. It really is. And what's the Mike? Let's have the first season. That was super special. Not fun and all. Jetzt im zweiten Jahr sitzt hier heute als Spieler. Spielst dann natürlich auch für den Fußball denke ich. Aber kannst du ein bisschen beschreiben, wie es für dich jetzt ist im zweiten Jahr mit der Erfahrung, die du gemacht hast? Also ja, wo du dich jetzt siehst, wo du jetzt stehst. Ich denke gerade die ersten, die ersten beiden Spiele letzte Saison, da hat man gesehen, dass der Switch vom Fußball zu American Football doch nicht ganz so leicht ist. Also ich habe schon mal vorbeigetreten, aber es ist einfach nur was ganz anderes, wenn man, ähm, wenn man da vor den Zuschauern steht, wenn man einfach was von Zuschauern macht, was man, äh, was man so einfach noch nicht lange macht. 
Ja, das ist einfach auch manchmal etwas anderes. Ähm, dann kam letztes Jahr für mich dann auch dazu, dass das Kampf einfach mal eine zusätzliche Aufgabe war und dann war alles irgendwie neu. Ähm, ja, jetzt haben wir es dieses Jahr erstmal so beibehalten. Mal ähm, schauen, wie es in Zukunft sein wird. Ähm, ja, ich bin froh, dem Team helfen zu können und äh, ja, ich glaube, dieses Jahr kommt es dann vielleicht auch mal öfter auf mich an. Und letztes Jahr äh, wir hätten, hätten auch alle Reichweite Ring ohne mich gehabt, wenn man ehrlich ist. Ähm, von daher freue ich mich, dass ich das Team jetzt unterstützen kann, auch mal mit, mit ein paar Token Plays. Äh, mal schauen, vielleicht lasst du mir sowas öfter ein. Ich, ich, ich arbeite dort. <lacht> So if you had to compare like a uh, Ryan Fire with the NFL team, which one would that be? You from Pennsylvania? Me? No, I'm Brazilian German. <laughs> I'm from Frankfurt Galaxy actually. Yeah. yeah. You have you have a great American accent. Oh thank you. <laughs> so what did you say, man? Um <laughs> I was listening to the accent sounds, not New York. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I was just asking like if you had to compare um um, fire, run, fire, what's a any NFL um, team, which one would that be in terms of, of fans or defense or anything that could be compared to? Um, I, I just think it's two different places. Um, yeah. The, the greatest thing about this is um, uh, like we're sitting in a press conference right now. Okay, like, like everybody, like we all kind of work together. You know, nobody's nobody's trying to dig at somebody else. You know, in America, in the NFL, it's it's a different atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. You walk into these rooms and it can be pretty icy. You know, like not not cool. Um, and and there's still there there's this. I hope it never changes here. But it's like like we depend on you to get the word out and grow the game, like. Like you're huge partners for us, you know. But in the same token, if we do well and football does well, you have more to write about. So, so there's this way to work it, you know. And, and uh, uh, well, that's not always the case there. Um, and obviously, the money hasn't. Uh, you know, we'd like a little bit more for these poor players, you know. But 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 it hasn't jaded it or you know made it different um uh but uh but like the fan base stuff i mean looking at the frankfurt fans here today obviously look i'm gonna say it don't boo me but i'm right fire and our fans are unbelievable okay <laughs> and they're the ones i know and i'm gonna brag about them and because they they get they get buses and i mean everywhere we go we got Ryan Fire fans everywhere. And I know you do too in Frankfurt, but I don't know about that, okay, because I'm not here. Uh, but we've got our, the passion of our fans and that kind of stuff is, that's second to none. Now, there not, might not be as many, but the passions of the ones we have. I don't, I, I, I've not been anywhere where it's, where it's this passionate. I mean, we had a practice, what do we have? With a thousand or 1,500 people watching a practice. You know, I mean, you know, uh, I mean, it's 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 amazing the way these people, the way these people get around the guys, you know. But it's also the players and the way they interact with fans and everybody too. Uh, I think there's a lot of like, uh, I think there's like really something neat, cool here. So do you think that the fan base in Germany is better than the United States? I think the ones we have, the passion that they have for their teams, and the way they, um, the way they. Uh, the representation of the fans in American football in Europe, specifically Germany, is first class <laughs> because of the way they act. There's none of this foolishness. There's no hooligans. There's none of this craziness. I mean, you bring your kids, you bring old people, you come in wheelchairs, everybody's welcome, everybody's safe, everybody has a great time, and, and uh, that's what I think is so special about it. Thank you. Okay, dann sehe ich jetzt keine weiteren Fragen mehr. Dann sagen wir Dankeschön erstmal. Danke, thank you.